is my playhouse, and you are just living in it. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If this is your first time here, welcome to my beauty entertainment channel. Absolutely. So today we're doing another part of my Sims Let's Play series. We're not doing beauty or entertainment today. So if you would like to follow me on social media, here's my, my Twitter and my Instagram is going to be in the description box. And then while you're here, you should check out some of my recent videos. What did I post? What did I post? Before this, I would have posted um, a video talking about the vlog squad. And then before that, I posted a uh, Let's Talk New Releases. And then before that, I posted an Everything Wrong with Scandal. So, absolutely. I had to set up for this part. So, I don't even know if this is like the right like date or time that this is showing. Like, it, it's not directly after the last part. But I don't think the other parts were like that anyway. Okay. So, anyway, we are back. We just went to. Uh, the last time I filmed this was a while ago. We went to Solani to the beach to like hang out. All right, that makes sense. It's currently 9 p.m. on a Friday. It is the middle of winter right now. I'm thinking we're gonna go to Solani tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. Has everyone finished all the work they have needed to do this week? Girl, do you ever do anything? For Ugh, she hasn't gotten her promotion in a long time. Catriona is not the person to talk to about fashion, but we need help from, you know, the people who are having trouble too. So let's have her paint. Let's have them actually be productive, except a meme because nothing. Girl, what's, what's wrong? Dizziness. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good at all. All right, so we're having her interview her. They have a really nice kitchen and like nobody who can cook. I just think that's so funny. I may I make all my Sims kitchens like really nice and I never have any of them cook anything. Or if I have them cook something, they already have. Like a cheated level 10 skill. Because who has time to sit and wait for your Sim to be good at something? I don't. I most certainly don't. So what are we gonna do tomorrow? Are we gonna do it all together? I think we should go get uh -huh. brunch tomorrow, guys. I think, does that, does that, I think, I'm talking to literally no one. I think we should go get brunch tomorrow at a restaurant in Suwon. I'm thinking that'll work perfectly. And today we're just doing it tonight. Mm, we could still go out. It's way too cold outside to go out though. But I want to do something. Maybe we should have like a fun little game night or something. Do we even have video games? No. So I guess we're just going to watch a movie all together. Is she still interviewing her? Oh, see? Look, I didn't even have to. I just spoke it into existence, guys. And now we're having a movie night. Well, Posey is still going to be. Oh, wait. Oh, no. If I. Because I have mods. And I have a different mod. I have a drug mod. One, YouTube might get me. Two, it takes like a couple days for that stuff to work. You have to like order it. Whatever. But we do have a bartender in the house. So let's get physical. Flirty. Oh, she's not flirting with her. Okay. I just have to make sure. I'm trying to organize the mess right now. Make drink. No. I want her to make drinks. See? Level 9 mixology. Let's make drinks for everyone. Let's spread the love and the wealth tonight. You know, we're all going... Oops, sorry. I just hit the microphone. We're all going out. What happened? What happened? What happened? I'm watching a tiny house show now. That's on Netflix. Tiny homes, I'm sorry. I could never do it. I could never do it. Okay, so are you gonna make the drink now? No, Carla's standing in the way. Look at that wall that still doesn't have anything on it. Oh, wow. Okay, so Carla, you have to move though. You, who the fuck was about to eat that? This is, and it's already 11 p.m. Should I just have them go to sleep? We don't need to do all this. She stopped painting. This is not working. I'm already exhausted. Okay, she's really, really, really dizzy. That's really kind of scary. Her and Catriona have been getting a little bit closer. Okay, that's good. So Catriona has a friend now. 
Oh, because wait. none of them liked her. So I guess Posey is warming up to her. I mean, she's still kind of pissed at you can't see. Oh, my mouse is moving. You can see. She's still not too happy with these two. But you know, we move. It's almost midnight. I think we can all retire to bed. Or should. Is everyone hungry? Let's talk about. Ooh, one of them. Let's make vegetable dumplings. Let's make vegetable dumplings and let's have everyone here. Hmm, let's have. Bi Whoa. We're just disgusting. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Let's have this midnight snack together. Rubbing vegetable dumplings. We are including Carla this time. I will not mess that up again. Oh, but she doesn't want to eat. Now does she? We're making vegetable dumplings for what is she wearing? She's wearing purple tights. Those ugly. I didn't dress this girl. Those ugly boots in a terrible color and a green jacket. She doesn't even want to eat the food that I literally made for her. That's really oh. Well, I'm sure I have some. I've bought pads and tampons before. Let's have her use this. Unwrap tampon. Let's go use it. Use tampon. Oh, we have finished the meal, the midnight snack. Oh, no, we haven't. Why are you eating cereal when Catriona is sitting here? This is, they don't respect her. They don't respect her because she's making a whole meal. Vegetable dumplings. She's literally serving you guys vegetable dumplings. She don't need to do that. Posey's a little disrespected in this house. Noted. Um, you're not even gonna eat what you cooked. The fuck is the point then? And me use a tampon. Okay. Can sh are they? They're not. Did I make them tea? No. Yes. No. She sleep on the couch again. Oh, that is so annoying. Is there a mod, or is it a cheat, to like? circumvent that so she they can sleep in the same beds there probably is like a cheat or something i just have to look it up this is still recording right okay i have to make sure it's scary all right i think i'm good now okay so you guys want to watch television i'm gonna be the one to do the chores and i'm gonna put the food away and then we're all gonna go to sleep and then we're all gonna go get food tomorrow morning and that's so fun isn't it sleep posy what y'all finna get into? No. No. I don't think we should start commotion. Oh, wait. They'll be able to sleep in the same bed. <laughs> there we go. That's how I solved every single issue that I just had. I'm so weird at problem solving. None of them can really dress. It's really just like Carla holding it together for everyone. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait. They won't be able to get in that bed. Short. Let's just fix it. Someone told me last time that it was the easel, which is why they couldn't get in the bed. Oh, no. <sighs> Fine. There's not enough room. This apartment literally just isn't big enough. You know what? It is literally fine. Sleep. Am I being stupid or can two people get in that bed? I don't want to make them date. All right, I mean, nap time. This couch is one of the best couch. You should be able to sleep on a couch as well. I think we should be able to, we should have evolved to that by now. If you can nap on a couch, you can sleep on it. And yes, we're going to be zooming through. A lot of interesting things. Today is Saturday. Perfect. So, we're going to go to brunch today in Sulani, right? But Ami will not be able to stay the whole time because... We'll find out why. You're going to find out why in like a second. 
her mom has said had set something up for her before they got into this whole big tiff but she's still gonna go because it's a really girl why are you sad now it's a really good opportunity how is she gonna cry it out in a bed with another person Is anyone else confused? Is anyone else confused? Girl, that bed, you haven't been able to access that bed since you started, since you started crashing with them. But she actually needed a full night's sleep because today she's gonna go, because you all know, let's see if you remember, she wants to be a writer, that's been her whole thing. So her mom, before they got into this big tussle, set her up to like be, an intern slash assistant for a writer that her mother knows from her social light living lifestyle, right? So that's what we're gonna be doing today after we go to brunch. So because the Sims game hates me, we're gonna have to get up early to go to brunch. Oh, and it's New Year's Eve. We're gonna have to get up early to go to brunch. Dehydrated, well. Why am I doing your job for you? I can't run your life for you. Let me save this game. My game is bugging today. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, let's go to brunch. It is snowing outside. Winter in The Sims is so annoying if you don't have fucking kids, because the kids go out and play in it. But even when it's still, it's still aggravating. All right, so everyone needs to be, you know, rising and shining. We do only have one bathroom for, this is a lot. I couldn't live here. <laughs> that's, that's my answer. I couldn't live here. She's gonna eat some leftovers. Um, so everyone wants to use a bathroom now. I mean, you've been up this entire time and you now want to use a bathroom. It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna have everyone, oh, we're going to eat brunch. So we don't need to all eat right now. Let's watch some TV. Oh, she didn't eat last night because she wanted to go to bed early. I forgot. My bad. She needs to pee. And then we're going to have her shower. And then what about Catriona? Guess we're going to be just rotating through the fucking bathroom this morning. But do you see? we I guarantee we won't make it to that brunch place before 12. That's how the Sims works. That's literally how the Sims works. <laughs> super fun all right everyone needs to get ready miss fashionista is she gonna clean stuff up or is she gonna drink the water she's cleaning stuff up for us thank you so much okay posy be done and be finished now it's your turn to come use the bathroom and then we will have discussions about outfits she needs to gathering impressions the impression oh Let's talk about some fat. No, let's not do that. Let's talk about some fashion discussed outfits with her. Because, you know, what are we all going to wear to brunch? Because they already can't dress. Well, some of them already cannot dress. And the winter outfits clearly are not the best. Not the best. Does she need to shower or anything? No. Okay. Is everyone set to go to brunch? We don't have to wear our winter ass outfits in Sulani. Perfect. We do not have to wear our winter outfits in Sulani. Let's change outfits. Why why are there duplicates of everything? That is so fucking annoying. Let's start getting into our clothes. Oh. Why doesn't she like Carla? I don't know what's up with that. Why is she talking about she don't like Carla? Carla has done nothing to you. She has done nothing. I have made everyone else do stuff to you. She has done nothing to you. Mm, weirdo. They're going to be wearing the same outfit, but it's okay. We're having everyone change into their party outfit. Maybe we should have a makeover day. Because um, some of this stuff looks a bit ridiculous not everyone's going into party outfit though because some of their party outfits are fucking ugly okay perfect to brunch it's nine o'clock so 
could travel to Sulani. Look, a look at my new Sulani. I haven't fully finished it yet, but I added, I made a bunch of these properties rental. Look at this, this property is so fucking pretty. Property, I'm like, I'm a real estate agent. This is gorgeous. This is the restaurant we're going to. It's called the Sulsul restaurant. There's another restaurant up here. That's more of like a, like a local, like just it's like cute, something cute for the locals to go and eat when you're like on the beach. You go up to that restaurant to go eat. This is a restaurant, restaurant. That's everyone, right? Would you guys live in a tiny home? My answer is no. My answer is actually hell no. My answer, that's my answer. Because hell no. All right, so everyone wanted to change out of the party where I specifically put you guys in because apparently this row, ooh, I, the gallery, y'all are really, really talented. Okay, let's, let's, let's look at this restaurant. So we have out relaxing on the beach. Look at this, we're right on the water. We're right on the water and then there's an upstairs with a little bit some cute like a cute little tiki area like people are so talented on the gallery it's gonna be crazy all right so let's go here okay so you were doing nothing of significance let's go in and request a table let's go um, you're wearing jeans in this restaurant you just pissed me off where are they all going why did everyone just walk past? They all wanted to go drink. Well, that's nice, but you have to request a table first. We can't just, this is not a free for all. Is this set as a bar? No, it's set as a restaurant. So I don't understand the problem. Let's request a table. Let's request a table. Thank you. Uh-uh. The restaurant's broken. The restaurant's broken. My restaurant is broken. We drove all the way to Solani for my restaurant to be broken. Oh. The celebrity lady is mad as fuck. The restaurant is broken? I hate this game. We're going to a different restaurant. I have a plot point to get to. We're going to a different restaurant. Should we just, let's just go up here. You were trying to get, you know, into what's going on on Sulani. We're trying to get, we're trying to eat the food of the people that live here. Maybe that restaurant was, it was an omen that the restaurant was broken. We were not meant to eat there. I'm right guys. I'm totally right. Okay, now let's go up here and request a table. I have to fix, let me write that down. Fix restaurant. Fix restaurant. Fix. All right, this restaurant is cute. Like, do you guys see it? It's very like, it's charming. This restaurant is super cute and super charming. Now this restaurant is working. Okay, look, this is where the kitchen is and I'm pretty sure there's a bathroom back there or two bathrooms back there. It's a cute restaurant. Everything is outdoor though. We'll hope the girls will be okay with this. Oh, and we get the perfect circular table. Absolutely. And it's almost 11. We're celebrating New Year's Eve, but also <laughs> we have things to do. We're gonna order for the table. Ooh, this is a pretty menu. Okay, let's order some drinks first. Long Island iced tea. Okay, so none of my mouse isn't working. Long Island iced teas all around. Now, what's on the menu? I have, don't even remember. Hmm. Hmm, let's have some things of the island. Ooh, vegetarian, I remembered. Island vegetable, <laughs> that looks terrible. I'm so sorry. That looks terrible. Um, 
walleye surprise? This mom on the tiny house is like very like, why are we good living in a tiny home? And she's me right now because, you know, everyone is different, but I could never live in a tiny house. Okay. I ordered everything. That's what this comes out from. Okay, so we're talking about, we only have really two because she needs to meet. So let me tell you about this while we wait for our lunch to come out. Ami's so mom, so Audrina, they're so kind of, down. they're estranged, they're having problems, they're fighting right now, they're in a war, oh, set up shoot. for her okay daughter, now. Ami, to yeah, shadow someone, a young now. adult, like yeah, someone who is Ami's age, who just happened to become a super famous yeah, author, you will, that just happened whoa, whoa, is really, really, really fucking important, because when we go meet her, it's gonna be very apparent that this literally just happened to her. And because of me wanting to be a for a while, her mom thought it would be literally just perfect if you were to, if you were to shadow her. You know, this Solani is actually very pretty. You would learn, like, look at that. Look how cute they are. What's... You cheated on her, so why are you saying you don't like her? I didn't like that. So that's where Ami is going after this brunch with her friends. I wonder what her friends are going to do after... Like while she's there because um, nobody's working today. It's Saturday, but we'll see. We have to be there by two. Will we make it to our standing appointment by two? Let's see. Oh, and we're also celebrating New Year's Eve. This is gorgeous. If I was someone who like took pictures of my Sims, I would take a picture of this. I don't even know if I remember how to. This is so cute. He's about to ruin my shot. He's about to ruin my shot. He's ruining my shot. Oh, that was a screenshot. He's ruining my shot. I'm. I'm. It, it was. It became too much for me. It became too much for me. Oh, look! This moment has made them closer. Now will you guys stop fighting over each other? No, 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 never. I cannot believe she's eating that. This is no hate to the vegans at all. It's just... But everyone else seems to be tearing up their food. Catriona, you're the chef. Tell us about it. Everyone finish their drink immediately. The walleye surprise. What? What is that? What is that? I kind of want Catriona to get better at this cooking thing. She needs to learn how to make it. She needs to learn how to make this stuff and cook. Because we can't be living like this forever. They're literally surviving off of vibes. Like, I don't be having them cook all the time. That's just not realistic. It's not good for them. We're almost finished, though. All right, and it's one o'clock. I think... Let's have Catriona, like, learn how to make that and make and be like the... The chef of the fucking house. Let's see. Let is actually. I don't think we travel. I want her to go back to like where the. No, Amanda, you press the M button again, not the pause button. I want her to go to their old school and like take a skills class and take a um. Take a skills class, take a cooking class to learn. Sit in on skills class. I want her to go with Posey because her and Posey have been getting kind of close lately. I mean, they're the ones who will talk to each other. So I want them to go together, baking or cooking. Where did cooking go? Social drama. You're gonna get class in social drama? That's kind of cool. Gourmet cooking. Okay, let's go with Posey. Posey, you're next. Pause. $500. We have the funds. We have the funds. We have the funds. So they're gonna go to this cooking class. Carla does not wanna go to a cooking class. So Carla is not gonna go to a cooking class. What am I gonna have her do? What am I gonna have her do while, cause of me, we're about to jet. We are about to jet. We have a place to be. We need to go. 
So maybe, maybe we can, what will I have Carla do? We can't take her with, they're literally gonna walk, you're not walking to Bridgechester. Give us cars, the Sim team. They're not walking to Bridgechester. Like at all. Hmm. I guess Carla will just go home. She is fashion. Maybe she can stay at the beach because um you're not coming with us. So we're about to move. We're literally about to move. Okay. Let's take you guys to go and meet this woman. Let's be on time. So, where is this woman who lives in Brindleton Bay? This author. This is the address. This is the address. <laughs> her mom has given her. People in my college group chat are so annoying. I'm excited. I'm very excited to show you guys. Cause I made this place cute. I didn't make this place. Let me stop before I start. Okay, so see, it's already cold. They're at these skills classes. They're not at home. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no way I paid for that and they're just sitting at home. I'm currently choosing to ignore that. They are at the cooking class. I don't know what you are talking about. So let's go on and knock at the door. This is the address her mama gave her, so this better be right. This place is cute. It's the place that's literally like right next to the fishing places, so it's cute. What is this place gonna be like? Oh. Yes. Ami does not like animals, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. Could you imagine? It looks like it stinks in here. All right, let's meet this crazy cat lady. Um, oh, I already had the meet. Okay, so they're fake meeting right now. You know what? I hate that celebrity interaction where it like makes them like freak out. They're in the presence of a famous person. And I'm like, they, they want, they can't even speak. They should have a trait of like not famous by celebrity. She's a little nutty. Look at all these cats. There's nothing wrong with having a lot of cats. It's just she is a nutty person herself. So, we're talking. Why? We're going to ask about her job and she's gonna oh, tell us, I'm gonna yeah. tell you the backstory while Aww. she, while we pretend that she's telling you her backstory. So this is, what the fuck is her name? Katarina, Oh, let me actually switch households. Let me actually play as Catalina and add a me to the household because we have a bunch of things to do today like it's she's her her, her assistant so it's not just like a free for all we have a plan like we have a plan okay that's what i'm gonna do i'm smart like i'm an excellent gamer i have a great provision he is smiley face overalls that he wears when he's building a house. Oh, that's cute. Okay, pause. Pause. Um, hopefully she didn't leave. Thank you. How does this work? We add to household. Add to family. Perfect. Okay, so back to my point. You better come back here. Um, we are going to be, so this is her house. Um, let's talk about, have her pep talk. Let's just have her do some things about interests. We'll just have some new things. This is her house. What the fuck is her name again? Cat. Tuh. Rena Lynx. Like a cat. So this is her house. This was her parents' house. Her parents are dead. That's why they're not here. That's how she got this house. This is a house that she literally grew up in. Her father was a fisherman. That's why we are where we are. Do we understand? So that's why she has this really nice house because this is kind of prime real estate. We're, okay, I hate the way my game does that. Brindleton Bay, it's literally in the middle of prime real estate. When I first, when Brindleton Bay first came out, I was so confused as to why they put a house here because i'm like it would just make more sense for it to be like a non-residential <laughs> property but girl this is prime real estate which is why she hasn't left, left and, and she kind of just took over her parents, parents. Um, just, just literally just took her parents, parents house. house but 
Katarina has really recently used to write a lot of fan fiction on the internet, and she recently wrote a book, and it shot to the top of like, let's just say, whatever bestseller list, and she is now very well known. Now she went, she literally jumped from a like nobody to a rising star within like a literal week. Like she knows what she's doing, okay? So because of this fame really quickly, because Audrina, I mean, his mom has her pulse on the streets, she knows what's going on, that's how she was able to get her this connection this fucking quickly. Uh, me really should be very, very grateful that she's here, all right? She got this connection because of her mom. And that's the backstory. So clearly, she's made money from her books, but she hasn't put money towards anything. And Audrina is not Audrina. Ami is her assistant. So she is going to pay her to be her assistant. And that's the first, like, step she's made into realizing that she's, like, a real celebrity now. She doesn't even have a TV. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. It's currently 4 p.m. What they're the first thing they're going to do today. First of all, Audrina took up a trash but didn't empty the litter box. So there was no point in taking out the trash. Honestly, I'm broke. Yeah, we know, babe. We fucking know. Why does that come? Whatever. Babes, go clean up the litter box. And so she is going to be her literal assistant. This so Ami, the girl who grew up, we've seen her Mount Kamarab be home, is cleaning the litter box. It's, it's a good opportunity. opportunity. She can't leave because it's a good opportunity. Even though her mom and her are in a, in a, in a tizzy, in a, in a bit of a fight, she can't leave because it's a good opportunity. And so because she's her assistant, she does anything this woman asks. So now she has to take care of all of these fucking cats. Look, Look at, at all these cats. cats. And I'm pretty sure her house has like the stray thing on it where like strays can like come in and um just do whatever that's really crazy to me is there a bathroom up here finally let's have her use the bathroom let's have her change that yeah you see this house she just got things it's very weird so yeah, she, she used, used to, to grow up here. Up here, here used to be two, no Georgia. I don't, don't want to talk to you. <laughs> she doesn't want to talk to you. She's, she's doing hot girl shit. Up here used to be like two bedrooms. Now it's just one because her parents died. It's kind of sad. But, but you know, we move. Um, I'm going to say me is scared of cats because I would be scared of all these cats. I would be scared of all of these, all of these cats. Look at all these cats. That's a lot of cats. I would be scared. So, so what are we going to do first? We have a couple of things that we need to do. She might, Katarina should take her to show, to have her learn more about who she is, right? This is the first time they're like meeting for realsies. <laughs> so let's travel to the Brindleton Bay Library and learn a little bit more about Katarina. So Katarina grew up in Brindleton. How many times am I going to say this? Katarina has grown up in Brindleton Bay Ooh, her whole life and Brindleton Bay is like you know airing it's a suburb but it's airing a little bit more towards rural so this is the only library in the entire town and because Brindleton Bay is like I, in my world see all these big highways Brindleton Bay is in the middle of nowhere it's like a far suburb so this is the only library in the town so this is where she wrote like her first book so yes this oh I, I forgot, forgot the, the Sims, Sims that has snow actually fall because sometimes they wouldn't. This, this is, is the library where she, you know, would hang out. It's, it's a very, very cute library. Like, like look at how cute this is. is. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Use portable computer. Girl, what is what? You can, I don't want to know. I don't know. We're just here on a field trip so that Ami can get to know this little kooky woman a little bit better. Look how cute this library is. It's so, like, humble. And here's the kids' area up here. Yeah. Yeah, guys. It was a farm. 
it was a farm out here and then they the, the people banned the people of the town banned and together and were like why don't we have a library who wants to drive over to willow creek for a library not me who wants to drive away to oasis springs for a library you want to drive into san machino just for a library no let's be self-sufficient so they turn this barn into a library and it's so cute all the computers were computers were donated from willow springs so like yes we're all good now where did the where did this lady go how did she get here i don't even know where we are how did you get here how did oh that was weird There's literally nothing to even do out here. I don't know why she's here. Well, that was enough for our cute little field trip because we have a New Year's Eve celebration to go to tonight. That's what we're going to do. And then I'll be back here tomorrow morning because her, you know, her assistant, seven days a week. That's literally crazy to me. She's a feeling a bit hungry. We're going to have her go home. She's, She's off the, the clock at nine. So, so let's, let's have her go home. Do. Oh, no. She yeah. seems something, something has burst into her. She's oh, writing. Can't, can't have her move. move. My bad. Where did me go? Who are you going to talk to? Y'all are just really hanging out outside. That's really crazy to me. Like, it's all sort of open. So I know this must not be the most comfortable situation that they're currently sitting outside in, but you know what? It's cute for the aesthetic. No one even put a fire in this fireplace. I know they're burning their whole tails off. All right, she finished writing. Let's go back to the house. Let's take, let's hope the cats didn't break anything while we were gone. But they probably did. But, but they, they probably, probably did. did. All right. We are back home. Hopefully we don't throw up anywhere. The cats have not done too much damage. Let's have her fill out some stuff because that is her job. She can't cook. So I hope she's not expecting her assistant to cook. I'm going to say that she's a decent cook. She's not. Just realized that. We're going to have her make dinner for herself because I don't think Ami wants to eat here. I wouldn't eat here. Uh oh. Okay, okay, one cat, cat likes her purr, purr. They just, just be jumping, jumping on top of anything. Oof. Let's, Let's fill this pet bowl. And, and then we will be going home because we're off the clock at 9 o'clock and I'm not staying in this area one second long. Why won't you eat the food you prepared? There you go. All right. Do you think she can survive? That was a cute first day. That was a cute first day as an assistant. Wasn't anything too neurotic. Just learned that this woman has a lot of cats and she'll have to help take care of a lot of cats. That's not even that bad. This house is actually pretty cute. Just it has nice bones. I just personally don't. <laughs> Let's go back home. All right, how do I like? If I remove her from her family. Huh? Girl, that is so weird. How? Why did she just show up? We don't live here. We don't live here. Okay, so I can't control her. She's sim info. I have to add her to my family to put, take her away. Okay.
we're going to travel back home, and we will be back as soon as tomorrow at 9. Working 12 hours, that's a lot. That's a lot. But, I mean, she's supposed to learn or something. She hasn't done any, like, work pretty much her whole life, but she just hasn't done any work now. But, I mean, who else is going to help you become a famous author? Your mom don't like you. George only has connections in the artist world, and she don't want to be an artist that damn badly. So, okay, let's go knock on the door. And then, and then we're gonna, gonna have, we're, we're gonna, gonna remove her from the household, and then, and then we're gonna, gonna cut, cut to their household. household. Look, Look at me. Okay, remove from household. And then we will switch to manage world. Okay, babe. You don't need to freak out like that. They be really ambitious with these tiny homes. They are really ambitious. I actually commend them because they be fitting a lot in here. The crew. Why did I name that? That was stupid. We should go somewhere. There was a festival happening here earlier, but I just didn't feel like going to it then. What club should we go to tonight for New Year's Eve? We live in the Spice Market. Oh, I turned this into a restaurant. I actually want to go there sometime soon. I turned, should we go to a restaurant for New Year's Eve? This place is where all the celebrities hang out. Like... This is where, like, this is the room where it happens. That's what's happening here. We're gonna spend our New Year's Eve at a restaurant because we're classy adults. We'll spend it at a club <laughs> next year. <laughs> we'll spend it, we're going to a restaurant to hang out with, like, y'all be climbing. Oh, wow, that's crazy to me. Oh, this tiny house is gonna have to Okay. We have our party outfits the fuck on. This, it's a lounge default. And I'm always like, why? Why make it a lounge? Why would you be up here? Girl, it is cold. Let's get in here. Fifth. What did that just say? We know people, we know the hottest former fan fiction writer on the planet. We will definitely be allowed in here. Play with somebody else. This restaurant is ex depressed. What's going on, babes? What's going Are you okay? You gotta be the host. Oh, that's not good. Do you see how cute, like, this is elite. Yes, I replicated the same thing like six times once over. Where's our table? There's literally four of us. Why are you seating us at a table? Did they just seat us at when... Can we not sit here? What? What? What happened? This is where the celebrities go? What? No! No, it is New Year's Eve. We're supposed to be classy tonight. So we came to a restaurant instead of a fucking club. What is this? Oh, I already have a headache. She looks good with this blonde. Let us order for table. 
Help. I'm already stressed out. Okay, what are we gonna drink? Literally already stressed out. Um, and then we'll have wine? No. Okay, what is available to eat? Whoa, I forgot. That's why this space is loved by the celebrities. They be loving this shit. This has no meat in it. Going to you, babes. Um, beet noodles. No. Um, Amanda, you are not eating this. You are not eating this. They're allowed to eat whatever they want. All right, there. I was experimental enough. I cannot believe they have them sitting apart. Do these only fit two people as well? Maybe that's why. Maybe I was stupid a little bit building this. Not stupid, obviously. But just didn't think things through. This is a real celebrity. Thorn Bailey. A Bailey is here. See? This is why we're spending our New Year's Eve here. That's why we're spending our New Year's Eve here. Look at us. Clap. Nobody's in this restaurant. Maybe we got some bad intel. And our sims don't even want to say sitting down. Maybe we did get some bad intel. But, like, we're already here. And we already paid the $50 cover fee. Like a bunch of bumbling idiots. I want to leave. I want to leave. Was that scared? Did that scare him into doing his job? No, no, we're not supposed to be fans of other people. We're here to pretend we're as good as we have as much power as them. So we're in the same restaurant as them on New Year's Eve. What is happening right now? Why is there, aren't things going according to my plan? This is not what I want and this is not what I, this is not what I can do. Oh, our food is here. It's so, okay, that's fine. No, babe, sit your ass down. No, never mind. Nobody wants to sit down. It's fine. I'm totally fine with that. Because of this man, this is why y'all won't sit your asses down and eat your food. Like, are you kidding me? This is why? Sit. I don't know why they have you sitting over there. Like, you're not their friends too, but that is terrible, your honor. And I feel bad for you. Eat your food. What happened to her? She's been trying to use a tampon for the past like 30 minutes. Are you okay? Okay, we don't need to use a tampon that badly. If you're broken, come eat. Ugh. Reset object. Damn. Y'all are aggravating with that. Eat experimental dish. Hurry up. It's literally one in the morning and you definitely have somewhere to be by 9 a.m. tomorrow. Like, you guys are going house hunting. Let's hurry this up. I cannot believe. Maybe I should fix this restaurant. I don't feel like it though. Like, Posey put a wig on, and y'all want to not be here and eating on time. It's not giving what it was supposed to give. But this food is cute. You know, the food is cute. She's just talking to herself in the bathroom. No, she's not talking to the toilet. No, she's not talking to the toilet. Ah, I know you think they don't like you, but this wasn't their doing. Like, I swear this wasn't their doing. It's just the restaurant did not have enough seats, babe. Please come back. I'm not addressing that outfit. Nobody wants to eat this food because it doesn't, it's not good. Is that the problem? Is that the problem? Is that it's not good? Because you guys already ordered. I don't know what you're looking at menus for. She's just singing? She's not a singer. 
must have been that drink. What is that? Cubed ahi with veggie wasabi matrix. Interesting. And they got a good ass chef. So, oh, she cleared her plate. You cleared your plate over here, and they left trash. It's not a good. It's not a good day to be Catriona. That is what I've learned. It is not a good day to be Catriona. Catriona had level five cooking skills. She could have learned to cook this experimental dish at home. Well, apparently the cooking class did not work. Apparently, in fact, that they literally did not. Oh, now the. F what? <laughs> Bailey Moons are here? Is that who those people are? Alright. This was a bust. Eating like celebrities didn't do anything for us. Um, I don't know. It's time for us to go home. That was a complete bust and I wasted my time and I wasted my money. We paid a cover charge for that. I'm so disappointed in myself. Like, I spent half- like, how long was it- how long were we in that restaurant? See, this is my home with tiny homes. They have kids living in, like, a crawl space. I don't like that. Alright, everyone wants to pee, go- go pee then. That was a bust. Y'all definitely have things to do in the morning, so um, not everyone can pee. Do you think we can make a second bathroom? Out? No. Should we move to a house? Is San... I'm not addressing it. Is San Machuno the best place for them all to live? I like it, though. Like, I like... I would want to live here. That's my answer. I would want to live here, but that's me. Is that what be what's best for these Sims? Let's discuss. She, but she shouldn't, she has to sleep on the couch. She's only crashing here. She's not even paying fucking rent. Don't sleep in nobody else's bed. That's rude as hell. <laughs> Y'all will piss me off with that, but she can get it's just the, it's just that fact that is so annoying that is so annoying that is so annoying get out of her bed this is not your bed disco nap and we'll set up for tomorrow morning posy mate pretended to make oh she was talking to her thought they hated she hates her so that's a good sign we're all waiting up to use the bathroom because that's how we're living. All right, Catriona, off to bed. You don't mean you were treated kind of badly tonight, so. Her, this is her cutest outfit thus far. Look at that. Look at that. The bit, the crop. That's her cutest outfit thus far. You know, it's quite simple. We could say she borrowed from, you know, somebody else's wardrobe at this point. All right, it is literally four in the morning. You need to pee. Fertility awareness test. Hell no. And you, it is time. No, this is not your house. You want to sleep in a bed of me? Go back home. Go back home or make one of these people your girlfriend. But you don't want to use somebody like that. Right? Right? And fast forward. We have some we have to be there at 9 a.m. We have to be at her house to take care of those nasty cats at 9 a.m. Better not miss that. Should we go get coffee before? Should we go get coffee before? Oh, it's spring! Yay, no more snow on the ground. Thank goodness. We don't have a coffee maker in here at all. What's up with that? We don't have a coffee maker in here at all? It's not like you guys are using this counter space to, I don't know, cook or anything. Like, let's get a coffee maker in here. Come on. White is the brand we're going for. All right, 
she is up she is up she is up let's brush our teeth let's freshen up and let's brush our teeth I I kind of want to give them all a revamp because I like this hair I want her to wear this hair more often but I'm, I don't think this is her go-to hairstyle just left a snow lump out on the side of the street I'm not addressing it it's Sunday she's literally the only one who has to work that's literally ironic because this whole time it's been her who doesn't have to work um, but now she has to work for this woman we will then be drinking some coffee after brushing your teeth that's disgusting but we move but we move we're then gonna brew some coffee Look at Sabrina. she's vlogging, guys. We're brewing oh, some coffee. Ugh. We're gonna hopefully drink it automatically after. Like, look that how the nice sore. that stove Ugh. is. It is so nice. All right, seven a.m. Stay up. Oh, she is very hungover. Then drink some of this coffee then. And talk to Ami. Let's see if you guys have gotten over your issues. Let's sit and discuss. Let's complain about your invel... Sure. Thick body. You I don't know why I'm reading that. Uh -huh. like a hate crime. <laughs> but it did. No. Yeah, it's fine. We can stay here until like 8 30. Alright. They're doing better. She literally like just kissed Posey yesterday. Like, The Sims is wild. You can do whatever you want. And it's fun like a life like a soap opera <sighs> all righty then this is boring and taking too long i'm literally just flirting with this with her because i'm bored that's fun huh? <laughs> so we're fake drinking our coffee and having Ooh. a fake conversation clearly once it hits 8 45 we're gonna go because we're never late always what outfit are we gonna wear every day okay no dancing oh i was on her my bad i figured it out see outfits change outfits every day why doesn't she have an outfit that's like professional the jeans is a lot let's go with this outfit she wants to do sit-ups? No, sister. No, sister. Not sit-ups. Let us go. It is like 8.50. We're going back to Brindleton Bay. We are going back to my sister Katarina's house. Let's see what she's got going on on a Friday, Sunday. What we're actually doing today is we're going house hunting. So um, the Sims won't let you go up to an em go inside an empty house, but we're gonna fake it, guys. Don't even worry about it. We're gonna make this as like a, an interactive ex interactive is the wrong word, as immersive as an experience as possible. She should maybe get a key. <sighs> if she this apart look how it looks better when it's not snowing. Oh, now they want to drizzle. Maybe it's hopefully the fireplace is on in here. That will look extra cute. This is so cute. All right. So she's nowhere to be found. So the first thing she needs to do is clean up all these litter boxes. Hey, Katarina, are you ready to go? Why is there just mac and cheese on the mantle? That's pretty weird all of the bowls are filled correct and she is literally just playing the sims on here no she's playing a medieval war game well we actually have an appointment katarina to go view things i hope you're you can Ooh. buy daily cat can go buy fish 
you don't know how to cook why are you buying fish oh let's go buy it for the um i was gonna say fishies but they're definitely cats so i was gonna say caddies and then i was like that's not right amanda i don't know Ooh, let's buy some salmon can we feed it to the cat the salmon is the most expensive one so no we're not buying salmon this let's buy a bass and let's buy a walleye a walleye we ate that we ate that and catch you and i wanted to learn how to make that thank you so much can we actually like go down here and stuff Ooh, this is a bar isn't it this is a bar isn't it we can just go down here oh wow yeah i heard that the katarina's dad was a fisher man that's why this all look like this but it is currently 10 o'clock and it's time for us to go house hunting so katarina is a new celebrity so her first option is she can stay in the house that she is right now there would kind of be <laughs> no problem with her staying in the house that she is right now it's just she's getting a lot of like external pressure to move and leave the house that she's in right now because it's not really the most like flashy house for a celebrity the sims is so weird it moves random people into like these lots were empty when i left here but it's fine so the first house we're going to actually look at is not this one it might be this one i thought i left this one empty no one of these i left empty but now it has a person in it. i'm pretty sure it's this one that i left empty we're gonna tour them all anyway so we're first gonna be looking at options within oh shit, i didn't find her with me amanda i did not bring her with me guys i'm doing this is not going well let me go back let me go back and bring her fucking with me okay i didn't even switch to her family so this was just a bad day all around it's all right 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 all right we're gonna add her to a family and then we're going to dis a fucking peer no oh. bunk beds all right no amanda okay let's go to manage worlds save and go to manage worlds we're gonna transfer into our household and we're gonna go house hunting per high styles are developed over the time by habitual behavior have you guys like noticed lifestyles affecting your game because they all the notification always pops off about lifestyles they always pop up but it doesn't do anything like they just have it's like there's a notebook detailing their adventures with their friends i'm like so all lifestyle lifestyles did was have us like keep a diary the sims is pissing me off and they're pissing me off even more because this damn these kits that they're trying they're trying to sell kits to us like what who is buying that who 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 is buying a kit who is buying a kit who is paying it's like five dollars they should be three dollars they should literally be three dollars they should literally be three dollars no more for me to clean up my sim house are you kidding me to buy a vacuum you can't give me that in a free game update or anything that doesn't even make any sense i'm firmly pissed off first house click c we have some really reworking to do with katarina we don't have to change her whole personality obviously ami is not doing well babes and she just picked up trash well there's a festival of youth oh this is new there has never been a festival of youth before this is brand new is this an update that's cute okay so she ran away i need her to come back here so we are on in the suburbs of brindleton bay like you just saw where we were it's cute it's kind of raining this house no one lives here there's like a cul-de-sac here it's a cute little neighborhood it's quiet and it's quaint that is a good sign katarina really really likes that someone currently lives here but we're gonna just take a quick little tour i'm literally out to take you guys house hunting like 
I'm literally running a CW show. I'm sorry. So this is the house. We're gonna um, let her walk on in. It's pretty. We're looking at the bones. It would not be decorated like this very, very obviously, but it's very large. It's a little, it's not a little. It's much bigger than where she currently resides. It would give her room for an entire office. I'm literally a realtor. It gives you room for an entire office right here. Very large living space, even a, lar a large dining space as well which could be turned into a cat sanctuary and then we go upstairs and it has two bedrooms actually so even the cat sanctuary could be up here and it has one really nice bathroom and then it has just like this is this deck functionable no it's not but there's a deck out here that is functionable this is relatively nice the only downside i would say is i mean someone lives here i'd have to kick them out there's enough room back here what's down this road kind of nothing it is a lot further away from the hustle and bustle the hustle and bustle of brindleton bay i put that in quotes because like it's not the same thing as like san machuno this is a lot that's ugly and this is a like vet clinic, I'm literally pretty sure. So we're close, but we're kind of far away from where like everything happens, if that makes sense. Not the best thing for us. Oh, look at this cute little park. So it's okay. It's our first option. Everyone's on their period, like damn. So here's our first option for a house. Yes, she literally just has to follow her around. It's cute, it's quaint, it's something fit for a new celebrity. Then here are some options. She has to also go to another house in Middleton Bay. Yup. This is more of what her manager slash agent wants for her. She wants her to get a really showy house because... Oh, sorry. In celebrity status, it would do well for her career, but also is that the best investment? financially wise like it's literally just her and like seven cats also a reason why she doesn't want to move off that lot is because the stray cats like know her this is a pretty big mansion not pretty big this is a very big mansion what she loves is that it has a direct connection to the sea because of you know her fisherman daddy so like she wants to be always connected to the sea look at me um it's a really big lot clearly the people who built this did not use all of the space look how close it is to the ocean like i this is the perfect house for her and there's a couple of neighbors not that many neighbors though and it ha it's gated and it has its own sort of whole community so let's go on inside let's knock on the door it's actually convenient that they put someone in these houses because now i don't have to act like i'm breaking and entering this house is huge though. Why would she need to live in such a humongous house? All right, whoa. So this is the inside. One single man lives here. That's kind of crazy. This house is huge. First great addition, humongous study. She would be able to write all of her little books and here has a gym, she would never use it living area into a formal dining room slash bar slash grand piano area interesting here is the outside it's very fitting for a celebrity this is the more celebrity option of the house cute little green room area she loves that let me move into the living room with no tv i don't like how they do that living room in and the kitchen as well as a humongous bathroom and what I think is a master bedroom. Yeah, that gives master bedroom, definitely. It is so big. This house is so big. We're gonna say that they're arguing over this house being so big. Like, why Why do we have to look at this sort of stuff? Upstairs, there's definitely enough room for probably multiple cat fucking sanctuaries at this point. This is so large for no reason. She could give each of her individual cats their own room. So the question to Katarina is, do you want to start a family soon? because if not this house is heavily unnecessary but for her manager and her agent this house could put her on the map so it's a matter of what she wants to do for herself this is still recording perfect next house 
yes, I'm literally taking you house hunting. It's for the plot. It's for the plot. Next, the I won't take you to a, a vacant lot, but the other options in Brindleton Bay is you can build a house on this lot, this 40 by 40 lot over here. So you can literally live over there, and or she could live where she is now. The next option is to move out of Brindleton Bay, which she already does not want to do. She has said the town that she will live in are Windenburg and Willow Creek because of how, you know, quiet they are. So we're going to look at our first option out here in Windenburg. Which house should I should have marked it? I should have marked it. Here it is. Here is the house. You've probably, if you've been to Brindleton, oh wait, I can't go inside. So we're just gonna, this house is kind of similar to that house. So we're gonna use this house as our like model house. So her second option is she could live in Windenburg in the middle of the city. There is really no difference. It's just Windenburg is a little bit closer to San Machino. So it would be easier commute for her if she has to do anything in the big city. But does she look, this is horrifyingly ugly. I did not know it looked like this. I did not know those houses looked like this so close together. That's horrifying. Cause normally I make this side of Windenburg like a bunch of restaurants. It looks like nobody's home. So can I not see inside, babes? No. This isn't even giving what it's supposed to give anyways. Oh, we're literally on the side of the ocean. But does she really want to live here? Do you really want to live here? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But these are these are some nice bones. I sound like a realtor. These are some nice bones. This is a nice area to be living in if we had to move to Windenburg. So maybe. The second option is to not live in the city part of Windenburg, but to actually move out here where like nobody lives. So the first place that we're going to go see is someone's throwing a party outside. <laughs> of college love it love it so much we're gonna go visit out a lot up here and see what people have done with this area i think i want her to stay in Brindleton bay for how many stray cats she stays she takes care of she takes care of pretty much every stray cat in fisherman's wharf in Brindleton bay so maybe we could stay in Brindleton bay but this don't tell me you don't see some like her living here like this is like a cottage like it is in the middle of nowhere she could tow to Lee live out here are you kidding me she could totally live out here so that's the lady who lives here just standing outside um are you gonna let us into your house it's kind of pretty i'm not that mad at it. it is nowhere near the ocean it's near a murky river that is a house this gets her her cottage vibes this gets her her cottage vibe, but it also takes her much further away from the ocean. This is smaller than her house now. It is one floor. It has no stairs. It has two bedrooms. It's about the, it has two bedrooms, which is bigger than her house now, but it has one less bathroom and it's not that big, but it really gives her this cottage feel. I like it out here. I've never played this lot. I like it out here. I feel like her cats could really thrive out here. And then the last location is Willow Creek. So I feel like everyone has played The Sims knows what Willow Creek looks like. So I'm not going to show you what these houses look like because I think you've already seen them. But pretty much she could live anywhere over here. She can afford all of these houses, but why would you want to live in a house that looks like that? I would not. So now she needs to decide between her options, and that's why she has her assistant to help her decide between her options what will be the best for her career. I'm not sure. I'm not seeing why we can't just renovate the house that she's in right now. Why can't we just do that? I'm like literally just talking to myself. Why can't we just do that? I feel like we should just be able to do that because we're not getting this quaint cuteness anywhere else. However, they kind of want to kick her out of here because this is prime like 
commercial real estate if she leaves like she will make a lot of money even more money selling this house because everyone wants to buy this fucking house she needs to brush these little creatures that sounded mean but you know she gotta brush them where's the brush button Electra begging for food uh, <laughs> friendly there's no brush for a cat why is there a drug option that is terrible ah. so we'll decide i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have her stay here i think i'm gonna have her stay here because no but she'll make money if she leaves what are you doing all the way here from oasis springs she literally lives at that motel in oasis springs that's crazy to me her day is almost over and she has all this fish in her pocket that she has to take back home. So I'm going to have her go home. But what should we do, guys? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I think I should have her stay here. But for the plot line, I want her to leave this area. I want her to kind of leave this area. Um, How do you know she lives here? That's weird. All right. Let me send her back home. Or could we, this area was nice too. Oh my goodness, I have no idea. And this is a fake game. So like, I could never really adult. Where should I have her live? That cottage, little cute secluded spot in Windenburg was so cute. And I could do so much with that lot. But is it worth it? I want a big move for her. And that would require it be the assistant. She would be used a lot more. So I definitely want a big move for her. And it would make her life of whole, you just be an assistant to someone who's moving. We're trying to make a me work as hard as possible, guys, for the plot line, for the storyline. So I want it to be a big move. Hmm. I'll figure it out in the middle of these two parts. I'll post the next part like on time because I know I missed it for a month. I have midterms. Midterms are just throughout the semester. Everything is called a midterm, but it's not in the middle of the semester. So it's just really big exams every couple of weeks. Call them what they are. Why is she at Rustic Residence? Whatever. Whatever at this point. All right, so that's it. Let's figure out where she's gonna live. We're gonna figure out where she's gonna live. I think I'm gonna have her move to that Windenburg place. I have never lived on that lot in Windenburg, and I'm supposedly playing the Sims game like differently now. I'm supposed to be playing the Sims 4. This is irrelevant. I've been playing the Sims 4 for a really long time, but there's certain places where I still just have never played before. So I'm like, Amanda, you have to change that. So I might pick that place. But yeah, that's the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you're staying healthy and safe inside your home. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.